Have you ever wondered how to keep your students actively engaged, cater to their individual learning styles, and foster a collaborative learning environment, all while juggling your own teaching responsibilities? Sounds like a tall order, right? But what if I told you that there's a strategy that can make this happen? Intrigued? Stick around as we dive deep into the world of Math and Literacy Center activities in this video. And we're going to discover how these magical centers can transform your classroom experience. Let's empower our students together. Stay tuned. What's kicking educational rock stars? Welcome back to another episode of Teaching Made Easy, where I strive to bring you practical tips, inspiring stories, simple classroom systems that actually work, and expert insights to help you become a more effective and confident K-5 teacher. I'm your host, Farah, the Center Fairy, and in each episode, we'll explore different aspects of teaching from lesson planning and classroom management to student engagement and professional development. If this is your first time joining me here on the channel, be sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and click that bell so that you get notified when I go live or upload a new video here on the channel. This week we're chatting all about math and literacy centers, so grab a cup of coffee or just turn the volume up and sit back and take notes, but get ready to be inspired and empowered. Let's dive in. Let's talk about the magic of math and literacy centers. As you may know, in the ever-evolving world of teaching, staying updated with the latest strategies is crucial. And one approach that's always been a favorite of mine is math and literacy center activities. If you're unsure about what these are or why they are my favorite, I'm gonna fill you in. Math and literacy centers are a little like islands of knowledge within our classroom where students can engage in independent or small group learning. These centers are all about giving students the chance to use and hone the skills that they've gathered from our teacher-led lessons. Pretty cool, right? Now, math and literacy centers have three pillars that we wanna keep in mind. You might be wondering why the buzz around math and literacy center activities. Well, let me share with you three key elements that make these centers an absolute gem. Number one, differentiated learning. Every student is unique, each with their own learning style and pace. Math and Literacy Center activities gives us the opportunity to meet these individual needs. We can provide more challenging activities for our advanced learners and extra support for those who need a little bit more help. It's like customizing the learning journey for each individual student. Number two, hands-on experiences. Here's the thing, students often learn better by doing. Math and Literacy Center activities are perfect for hands-on learning experiences, giving students the chance to dive into the learning process head first. Number three, collaboration and communication. Want to enhance your students' social skills? Look no further. Math and Literacy Center activities often involve group work, promoting peer learning, and building up those oh-so-important communication skills. Hey there, educational rock stars. I just wanted to interrupt this episode to share something with you that I am super excited and super passionate about. This month, we have our Easy Centers Challenge coming up and our Easy Centers Experience, and I don't want you to miss out. If you are struggling to run math and literacy centers in your K-5 classroom, then this challenge and this experience is for you. So I'm gonna leave a link down in the show notes for you to click and find out more information about this challenge and experience. And it is gonna help get you ready and set the stage so that you can go into this school year with your math and literacy centers ready to rock and roll and give you the freedom to teach in small groups that you have really been searching for. So don't miss it. Check the link in the show notes. Jump over there, find out all the information. Definitely, it is for you if you want to run math and literacy centers in your classroom effectively making sure all of your students needs are met it's a simple system and you're not spending your nights and weekends absolutely struggling to find activities that your students can do independently so again jump down in the show notes make sure you check it out and i'll be waiting for you inside the easy centers experience now i bet you're asking what's in it for me the answer is a lot the benefits of implementing math and literacy center activities are amazing and here's why. 
These center activities create an environment where students can actively explore, investigate, and solve problems. It's like opening the doors to a world where learning is fun and exciting. Plus, these activities give students a sense of responsibility and independence. You'll see your students grow in confidence as they take ownership of the learning. But it's not just the students who benefit. We, the educators, also gain from these centers. They allow us to give one-on-one -on -one attention to students who need extra guidance, something that's often not feasible in a whole class setup. I can already see that your curiosity is piqued, asking, so what exactly happens during math and literacy center activities? Well, imagine this. Students buzzing with excitement as they rotate between different tasks designed to reinforce and extend their learning. One moment, they're immersed in a reading exercise. The next, they're solving puzzles that challenge their mathematical thinking. And every day is a new adventure. To make these activities even better, consider using resources that are ready to go like our Math and Literacy Center bundles that are available for grades K through five. Our K2 bundles are perfect for our younger friends. For our older students, we have our third, fourth, and fifth grade bundles. These Math and Literacy Center bundles have predictable games so that your students, once they learn how to play them, they're not gonna have to relearn and they are perfect for independent activities. I'll leave a link down in the show notes and the description. Now, to wrap things up, Running Math and Literacy Center activities is a fantastic strategy that we should all consider in your classrooms. These centers offer you a plethora of benefits from differentiated learning and hands-on experiences to building collaboration skills. Of course, successful implementation requires a bit of planning, setting clear expectations, and adapting to the ever-changing needs of our students. But trust me, it's all worth it. So what do you say, educational rock stars? Are you ready to dive into the world of math and literacy centers? Let's empower our students to learn, grow, and thrive together. Now, if you're looking for tips, strategies, and simple systems to take into your classroom to make your teacher life a little easier, check out the other videos on your screen. Thanks for watching and keep being an educational rock star.